hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be stuffing my stimulus check so this is stimulus check number three as you may or may not know the second stimulus check i don't know what was going on uncle sam was trying to play with me with this stimulus check it didn't come to like an extremely long amount of time later so i'm very thankful that this one came um pretty quickly and so we are going to be stuffing all 15 of my sinking funds and some of my fixed expenses so if you want to see how i allocated this stimulus check then keep watching all right so here is the money that i took out of the bank um i did take out uh larger dimensions so i don't have any fives tens or ones we are just sticking with the larger bills and that is what i'm going to be using um if you are new to my channel i did just release a new cash exchange video that i will have linked in the description box so that is one of the reasons why i didn't want to take out smaller denominations because i just did an exchange so i was like yeah i don't want to put small bills back in there when i just did that um and also it's a larger lump sum of money so um, I pulled out the whole 1400 These are my fixed expenses. I'm going to pull out my tithe envelope and I'm going to pull out my car loan envelope because we are team um, pay off the car loan. So those are probably going to be the first two that I stuff and then we'll get into the sinking funds. Um, but I did just want to take a minute to say thank you to everyone who um wished me well in that cash exchange video i was not feeling that well and um, a lot of you sent me well wishes and even checked on me like some of y'all even checked on me like later um and gave me a comment asking how i was doing so i really appreciate that love you guys and okay let's get started all right so starting with the tithes envelope i'm going to put in 140 so that's 10 percent of the 1400 so 120, 140. Gonna stuff that in there. And my tides, I do, I can pay them in person because I am going to church now. So, or I could pay online. Just kind of depends on what I'm feeling like. For my car loan, y'all, we are going to be putting $500 on my car loan. Now, if you've been following me, then you know one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 80, one. You know that I got my a bonus um, from my job, my special education bonus, and I put $400, um, I think two weeks ago on my car. So now I'm getting ready to put $500 and then I'm still going to pay my monthly minimum payment which is 358 dollars um y'all will see that on my paycheck number two cash envelope stuffing that's coming out this friday so y'all we are paying this car off this year one two three four twenty forty sixty eighty one hundred so i'm so excited all my other fellow budgeters out there that are also paying off cars this year or other credit cards like y'all I'm here for it, like, let's get it. Okay, travel is going to get $50. So that will put me at 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 401, 402. So adding, let's scoot these back a little bit. Adding 50 gave me 402. And I'll put those right there. Gifts will get 20. So in gifts, I now have 100, 150, 170, 190. It's 
school plans will also get 20. And so that puts me at 100, 150, 170, 190, 195. For car maintenance, I'm going to put in 100. This is my little uh, receipt from the car dealership on some things that I'll need to get done eventually in the future. So I don't really know if I need that in there, but I just keep it just for like, I guess a visual reminder of what I'm saving the money for. So in car, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450. In church, I'm going to put a 50. And I actually do need to get rid of this money. Um, we are donating in, at my church. So I, I do need to get rid of this money, at least like 200 of it. One, two, three, 350, 355. Now did I put 50? Yes. For three. 55. Oh, I forgot to put my receipt back in here. Medical will get 100. And so in medical, we now have 100. 200, 300, 400, 410. And I don't have any, I haven't been needing back therapy as much as I used to, um, but I do have a dentist appointment in May. So I don't know how much that's gonna be. Birthday is going to get its usual 20. And so now in birthday, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 540, 560. So 20, which gives me 560. Kind of feel like I, I could have put more in there instead of the normal 20, but I don't know. And then in miscellaneous, I am putting a 20. So I'm almost done with this envelope and this envelope um, is me paying myself back from some unbudgeted expenses when I moved out that I didn't expect. And I just kind of wanted to be intentional about putting that money back in my savings account, which is where I pulled it from. So I need a total of two hundred forty five dollars. So now I'm at one hundred, two hundred, two twenty, two forty. So I just need five more dollars. And I'm going to um, put that five in there on Friday. So I'll be done with this envelope and it will be going back into my savings account in the bank. Okay, y'all. So that is going to be the end of the pink envelopes and the fixed expenses. I'm going to come back and um, stuff the zipper envelopes. All right. So starting with emergency, it will get a $50 bill. And I actually will be, um, yeah, I have this 100 that I need to put a prop bill in because for my emergency fund and my future envelope, which is at the back, I do not pull from that money ever. So I don't want it like just sitting in here, you know, um, other envelopes I actually pull from throughout the year but these two i don't touch them so it's no need to have all this money just sitting in here so in emergency we have a total of 100 200 300 400 450 460 
for electronics, I will be putting $40 in here. And let me see, I'm hoping I won't have to spend out of this envelope in the future. I might though, cause my MacBook Pro charger is like on its last leg, but um, I'm trying to save up for a new phone. I have an iPhone 8 plus and it is paid off for. So that's why I do not have a newer one. Um, but eventually I know I'll need one. So I have 50, 100, 120, 140. So the goal is to use this money and eventually get um, a new phone with it. But if I need it before then for chargers and things, then I'll have it. Christmas will get $20. So in Christmas, now we have 50, 100, 120, 125. Wait, I was at 120. Did I add a 50? No, no, no. I added a, I added a 20, not 50. I was like, 50 plus 105 is not 125. Okay. Let's go ahead and fix that. So I added 20. And so now 51, 20, 25. 125. <clears throat> and functions which i hardly ever ever um stuff this envelope but it is going to get a 20. so we have 50 dollars in functions which i think is pretty good like i don't know Basically, I use this for when like my family has get togethers at their houses for holidays, birthdays, and I need to contribute. That's what I use this envelope for. But that usually doesn't happen until the holidays. And I mean, we do have some holidays coming up, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Yeah, so I don't know, we'll see. Okay, giveaways. I'm excited about this one, guys, because we just hit over five thousand subscribers on the channel i'm so super excited so y'all know what that means it is giveaway time there will be five winners there will be a cash prize um, i'm just gonna cash app the winners everyone's getting 25 dollars and you know what hey it could be lunch money for the week it could be <laughs> something for your kids you know you just never know but i definitely wanted to have five winners for reaching five thousand subscribers so I needed $50 to get me to $120, $125. And that's where I am now. So 50, 1, 20, and 5. So now I have my $125 for the giveaway. So excited about that. And that giveaway will launch this Friday. Um, all of my giveaways, the rules consist of subscribing to the channel following me on instagram so if you want to just go ahead and get a head start on that go ahead and subscribe go ahead and follow me on ig and then i will be posting a picture on ig that you'll use to enter in but again i'm not going to post it until friday um until friday so yeah super excited taxes will get 100 dollars. also excited about that so in taxes, we have 50, 100, 120, 140, 160. I do save for taxes in my Ally or Ally, however they pronounce it, um, bank account. But I save some money on the side too. Um, so that I don't have to take so much out of my YouTube checks and stuff if I'm also putting some money to the side. And then last but not least is future and it will get the last $100 bill. And again, future emergency and future are the two envelopes that I keep prop money in. So I'm putting in the 100, but by the time we do this again, 
this will probably be a prop bill. So in future, we have 100, 200, 300, 310. And future can be for anything. It could be for a car, like just anything related to the future that is not already an envelope. All right, guys. So that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I was supposed to upload a budget by paycheck for paycheck number two today. But I wasn't expecting this stimulus check, so I definitely felt like you guys probably would enjoy this more, and I know I did. But I'm trying to figure out, I don't know, should I post my paycheck, budget by paycheck tomorrow, and then my cash envelope stuffing on Friday? Or should I just not worry about posting it so I don't have too many videos? I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think I should do, because I don't know. But anyways, I'll see y'all next in the next video. Bye.